Hello, our first step today is to remove the top coat. As I already explained, sanding is often not a good solution. The reason why sanding is not a good solution is double. First of all, it's difficult to have access with the sander to the smallest corners and edges. Even with a smaller sander, it's not always possible to have a good access. The second reason is even more important. Design furniture from the 60s and the 50s was about the first generation of furniture produced with veneered boards, as particle board, chipboard or even plywood board. The veneer on top of it is rather thin, sometimes not more than one millimeter. So sanding is a real risk. You push a little bit too hard and the veneer is gone and the furniture is damaged forever. So it's a lot easier and a lot safer to use a paint remover. This is a chemical product which dissolves old coats of varnish or paint. How will we use this product? Well, it's very simple. There are three little steps. We will first have to apply it. Then we will have to wait for some minutes and finally we will have to remove it. First of all, we are going to apply the paint remover on the surface. We can do that with an old paintbrush and we just apply a thick coat. After a few minutes waiting, let's say about two, maximum five minutes, you will see that the paint remover did his job. The varnish is cracked and kind of soft and sticky. We can already start removing. We can do this with a painter's knife, but personally I prefer using steel wool. With a knife it's always a bit risky, because if I'm not careful enough, I risk to damage the veneer. On the other hand, steel wool is a lot more safer. I remove the prut here eh, and as you see, it is sticked in my steel wool so my steel wool don't damage anything at all and it's a very clean and nice way and proper way. Here we use steel wool which is less fine than the steel wool for cleaning. For example we use a number 4 or eventually a number 3. Sometimes it happens that some sticky reminders of the paint remover are left over in the edges. Well, this is easy to resolve. You take a bit of thinner and a kind of a soft brush and you just brush it away. Now we have finished removing the top coat. The wood looks already different, but at different places we see still differences of color. This is logical. We only removed the top coat, but we didn't remove what was left over in the pores of the veneer. This will be our next step. 